Yesterday, as per Indian tradition, it was Guru Purnima, a day to worship the feet of the Guru and to give him Guru Dakshina, to give him the money collected for the whole year. The person who takes care of that particular area, people collect funds and give to him, and that will be the money for him to use for the whole year to give to people who are in problems to his help and at the same time for him to have his own food and buy his own clothes. It's the Guru Purnima and students came to uh, worship the feet of the Guru. <laughs> I was always against uh, this system because I thought the Guru was trying to act like an emperor and that was a bad habit for making people look stupid. And whenever people come to touch my feet, I used to pull my feet back. Later on, they used to tell me, we came for that and you have pulled your feet back. Then this reminded me, a small child goes to ask the teacher, teacher, my father's birthday is coming. And what should I present to him? And the teacher said, give him a pen. And the student said, my father is the richest man in the world. He can buy as many cars, posh cars, he got his own private jets, mansions, everything. A small pen. But he just said, please, listen to me. Buy him that pen. And reluctantly, she bought the pen and she presented it to the father. It seems the father kept the pen in his pocket, went around everybody and said, look, my daughter presented this pen. <laughs> my daughter <laughs> Presentation is different from what you have. When you give it with the love, there is something different. And that reminded me when people say they wanted to give me a pen by touching their feet, I just allowed sometimes. And more people come, I start walking off. So <laughs> more people do not come and touch my feet. Uh, then yesterday, the puja, when they did the puja, they want to wash my feet and uh, decorate uh, my feet with flowers and give me money and fruits, etc. I accepted it thinking this is, might be a tradition carried by the people, the old ancestors to remind the, to keep reminding the people and the guru also when people touch your feet. They have surrendered. They started with the with the pickaxe and the spade digging into your feet to make sure that if your your feet is the root, the root goes deeper. Root deeper the root, taller the tree stands. So the disciple and the people can stand taller only if the guru can dig deeper and hold on powerfully on the on the floor. <laughs> That can be the reason when um, Jay Rupa sent me this one on Guru Purnima Day. She wrote, Worshipping the feet of the Guru is the ultimate of all worship. Yes, ultimate of all worship. Yes, because when you touch the feet, when you understand the foundation. Yes, when you understand the foundation, it becomes Karma Yoga, the Guru as well as the Shishya both understand Karma Yoga. Karma Yoga means keep doing work without expecting results. That doesn't mean you are blindly doing something. When you do, when you dig, dig deeper, you sweat and se sweat seven times. You sweat and you seven times you fall down unconscious. You get up and you do the work. You have done the first time, first day of your work on that particular day. Seven times. When we were practicing, I do not know, the Japanese says they picked up this karma yoga tactics from India. When you keep doing push-ups, we reach a stage, maybe after 600 push-ups, no more push-up can go. One more push-up cannot go. That is the time they come and catch the belt and say, come on, do it more. One, two, and you have no more energy. But the only thing what you will be doing, you'll be shouting, here, here, you see scream so that they they believe and they, they're told that the spirit doesn't follow the technique the technique follows the spirit when you have the spirit nobody in the whole world can stop you that spirit is your root which goes deeper deeper the root 
tall as the tree. No wind can break it. That is the real karma you go. Ultimate of all worship. If people and the shishya and the guru understand. Most of the gurus, the moment people touch their feet, they believe they are God. They, are, they got some supernatural power. Yes, the supernatural power comes only when you polish that the diamond by making sure when your shishyas, when your people do 10 push-ups, you do 11. That means if they do 10 work, you must do at least one extra. <laughs> but here it is not that one, the extremes of speed that you inculcate, that if they can do one, you keep on adding zero, 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 zero. zero. It can be poor number, there can be 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 1 lakh. That is the speed of the Guru. That is the speed of your elder brother and elder sister. And the elder brother and elder sister in Japan, they call Senpai means a person who is one day senior to me is also a God. One day senior to me in the experience. <laughs> Worshipping the feet of the Guru is the ultimate of all worship. Gu means ignorance. Ru means remover. The person who removes the ignorance, there is no ignorance in that. It is just an emptiness. It is just an unconscious behavior that you, you, you do pujas, but you forgot the importance of it. When you touch the feet, the guru removes the ignorance, means both together. Not only the guru removes, the guru also start feeling, oh, I must now work very hard. Hard doesn't mean you're going to die. The more harder you work, you can understand the amount of power after 600 push-ups and then somebody catches the belt and pushes you down and wow, come on, one more, two, three, another 600 more. And the scream, you think you're going to die. And sometimes you die in that ignorance to bloom to a new life. And that new life which is blooming is powerful. <laughs> Guru Purnima, worshipping the feet of the Guru is the ultimate of all worship. So make sure that touching the feet of your father and mother, your ancestors, you will not allow you to sell your ancestors' property. Instead, you add it up and make it more powerful. Go means ignorance. Ru means remove. Remover of ignorance. It is also your duty to make sure that you see anything dead, you clean it up, cleanliness next to godliness. One step leads to 10,000. That every one day, case, case, and one, one extra thing you make sure you build up in your family. 365 days, 365 days of improvement. And that is good for me. <laughs>